Hi guys, welcome to our architectural journey. For today's episode, we are going to discuss with Professor Song Yaho, founder of Soup Atelier. For the first part of our interview, we are going to discuss RSC Building, a project inspired by Chinese gardens and courtyards. Located in Hainan, China, it's a multifunctional building available for exhibition, creative industries, and commercial offices. This project combines local inspiration, sustainable design, and computer-aided analyzing software. So hope you enjoy it and feel free to share this with your colleagues and friends. We have the uh, our Chinese the courtyard system. So we, uh, we call that Yuan, a courtyard, a Chinese courtyard. And also, for sure, it's quite famous of traditional Chinese gardening. So we have the Yuan and Yuan. Uh, those two words just pronounce the same in Chinese, yuan, yuan, but different different tones. Also, so from from that page, uh, very easy to reflect the image of that. You could see uh, a lot more gardens, uh, a lot more courtyards, and we just gave the gardens and courtyards more modern explanation. Not only the traditional Chinese one, the, the garden for what? For, for leisure, for, for fun, for people to enjoy nature or artificial nature. Uh, and Yuan, the courtyard for, for people to, to, to live inside and also have kind of a harmony with nature. But in this project, the both courtyards and gardens have kind of sustainable meaning. For 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 instance, we we have the the courtyards, but not only for people to touch to 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 feel nature, the natural thing, but also to to make kind of adaptive method for people to do with the extreme climate. For instance, uh, uh, this. Small courtyard with with a pond, we call it water yard or water pond yard, whatever. And we could with the evaporation of water to have a relatively cool microclimate situation or scenario. And also that you could see that's a round rotunda, a kind of round courtyard. We have that for for natural lighting spontaneously also have this kind of natural ventilation. So in, in this project, both traditional Chinese courtyards and gardens uh, have modern meanings, sustainable effect or adaptive design to nature, to the climate. So that's a position and a different type of or courtyard thing, or, or garden thing, it just uh, some space open to the public, very easy to access, and uh, has kind of meaning to 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 cope, to do something, to to enhance the bioclimatic comfort around or inside of the courtyard or the garden. So, so the blue one means courtyards. I, I, I just explained some of them. Uh, for instance, yeah, that's the, the, the water, water pond courtyard I mentioned. And also that's another, I mentioned the rotunda, yeah, for natural lighting and ventilation. And also this, the slope uh, integrated with a natural garden. It's also a kind of courtyard to, to accelerate natural ventilation because the section is something like this. Uh, we have the, the earth sheltered building and we have the water pond here. So the wind or natural ventilation could be something like this. And, and that's true. And the green courtyards means uh, we just use the allies. Actually, it's just a small um, public space. And with, with the help of the, the, the brick walls to, 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 to work as the Le Corbusier's concept, the Pré de Soleil, the, the, the sun breaker or, or sun shading system. And 
the yellow one is kind of central atrium, uh, open to all the people, easy to access, and to have kind of uh, it, it's not uh, air conditioned, so it's open with a very nice sun shading of the the building itself and with natural ventilation, so it, it, it's open to the public and. Those courtyards also uh, work as the boundary of the the air conditioned spaces. So it's kind of boundary. Uh, it's improved and it's a climate adaptive spaces, which could also not only help the the performance of the space, but also to help to you know, to, to improve the performance of the air-conditioned spaces. And, and, and also the, the dot lines are kind of circulation. Yeah. Mm, the main entrance to the east, the, to the public, you, they just uh, have kind of stairs and going up and to the central of the building. To the north is kind of the VIP route, the very important person who pay a visit to this could, could be directly to the courtyard and say something important and just uh, leave. Okay. Oh, that's uh, the, the, the very important diagram. That's, this diagram shows the performance of different courtyards. Uh, from right, we could say the Prix du Soleil, some breaker, and also has kind of performance of ventilation. Ventilation is good. Sunshine, strong sunshine, not good in summer, is particularly in Hainan Island. And also in the middle of that, that's the yellow atrium with natural ventilation and sun shading system. It's not air conditioned, even in Hainan, the tropical region almost. And go further, we have the, the spaces, the, 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 the main function spaces very well air conditioned so that people inside could work with kind of high efficiency performance, this kind of stuff. And then go on, we have the, the water pond courtyard, we have the slope, we have the ventilation, we have the micro climate and the courtyards. So that, that's a, the diagram show. Last but not least, we do the, the, the research because uh, no matter the size of the, the project we've done, we try to make it kind of prototype to show our understanding of sustainable design. The, the Hainan project, we have the, the space without air conditioning. We have the space with air conditioning, and we have all this kind of buffer in between, and also with the, the traditional Chinese concepts of courtyard and also gardens. So we just have all in. So we are now carrying carrying all kind of uh, the measurement uh, of all the the collection of data. It, it, it's undergoing, not not finished. The, the building is down, but the research is is just undergoing. Uh, in in the future, maybe we'll we will published, and not in architectural journal, but in uh, science, scientific journal. <laughs> so 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 that 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 that's the whole job of of my profession, architect, professor. We have <laughs> professional architects uh, architects, and we have. PhD students, postdoc researchers. So th this uh, this kind of the team. Yeah, that, that's really interesting. So, and the good part is you continue the path of tradition, so we can keep it this way. Yeah, and just yeah. Bring it forward <laughs> yes. to the next generation. Yes, that that that's great because talking about the, the, this generation and the next generation, even the next, that's the exact why are sustainable or you know so important. Yeah, and also we, this generation must have something. Yeah, we have the the, the German term the Zeitgeist, the spirit of time. So mm -hmm. we have our spirit of time. Yeah, so just try to do something like this. 
And you know, with traditional details, some of them uh, can't like work in today's like uh, this generation and now. So they put aside because they are not like uh, completely can give an answer to today's need. But if you just uh, change them with this new path of like modern technology and make them modern, it's gonna find its way to the next generation. Yes, yes, it's great. That that's, that's a great comment. Yeah, your your comment. Very. You. I I cannot agree with you more on that. Something is abstract. Something will never change. Yeah. So 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 and the mission of different generation of architects. Yeah, you know, also is very different. So so this generation and trying to to think back to the history and making full use of something and not not only technical part but also culture social yeah yeah especially in china you know china is is not in a developed country a huge country with with a lot more differences yeah so Actually, that that's really good because we have this talks with like other uh, our other guests in the show that we've been talking about how everything is gonna look in the modern world everything is gonna look the same but if we can find the path to like bring this traditional style in the new like uh, life style that's gonna be way better for each country yeah yes yes and it's it's also a kind of from my point of view it's kind of a shortcut to show the diversity, yeah? So you just do your way and in your background, yeah, making everything you could find, the resources, and to do to do the extreme of, of, of your understanding of something. For me, it's my understanding of sustainable design. So it could be part of the, maybe very small, but could be part of the future of explanation of diversity, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's so important. So I, I just go on. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, that, that's uh, the model. Yeah, yeah the mock-up. We were just uh, on the, during the course of design. That, that's all the architects doing. And and also from the east, uh, from the, the main, main entrance angle, we could say the different courtyards, Spaces, sun shading system, ventilation, lighting, and it's a little bit complicated. But you, if you are looking the building in this angle, you could see all the, could see them all. Yeah, okay, the open part, the natural ventilation part, the sun shading part, and also all different layers of courtyards, what you call courtyard system, are all shown in this picture. Oh, that's uh, the the main trance from the east. The it, it's open. This part, I, I just uh, uh, I'm like th this part is is open to public, non air conditioned, and that's the path that people for 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 tourists or whatever just walk. I make access to the building and in this part of that resort air conditioning, which means we, we could save a lot more energy in this way. But it's not too bad because we have very nice sun shading and we have a strong natural ventilation, so which will make this space feel much better than the hair <laughs> just in the sunshine. Okay. Not the entrance and, and the also the access to the 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 main lobby. The main lobby is in the, the second level. To the main lobby is kind of the traditional explanation for traditional Chinese garden. So you could go this way, that way. You have different scenery. Yeah, you 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 just enjoy it. If you have kind of experience in China, especially in the gardens in Suzhou, it's it's not huge. Not like the, those kind of French gardens or even British gardens or, or whatever. It, it's small, small space, mainly for for a big family. So you could say, okay, I, I just go this and turn and change. We have some stone 
or, or some plant or whatever, just uh, to guide you to from here to there. So I, I do not know how to explain in English for the Chinese proverb. It's called, if you, you walked, your scenery changed and you, you have the the curiosity to walk again and to, to go forward to 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 see what's going on, yeah, in the space. All that's part of the the the, the pedestrian past. Oh, okay. Just look back, Mister Sang. I, I have a question here. You yeah. have this variety of like. Uh, you have this multifunctional building with a complex like pattern and path and still you have this sustainable design approach i want to know how you can manage all of this together to have a good design at the end this is a really a hard task and i know many people like struggle with doing this yes 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 you you you, you maybe in the future yeah maybe this just uh, make all these whole things together, so makes this building looks complicated. Uh, it, it's not like the the, the simple, the the the, the form driven exactly. kind kind of design. It, it's just uh, like the I I would say again the traditional Chinese thing. The traditional Chinese thing, we just add something together. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you say uh, the garden, or you say the traditional Chinese architecture, we have the dogon. We have our own structure system, makes it complicated. But still, if you look in the whole, it's also in a kind of harmony. Yeah, exactly. If, yeah, if I were doing something in the abstract way, um, you know, that's not my personality. I'm Chinese. I'm not a, a people from Switzerland. I'm not a German. Although I spent some time in Germany, so you you could tell, you know, it's not. It's not even not Japanese. So yeah, I'm German. to try to to make it more complicated. To add it, add it, add it. Uh, to yes, for sure they have conflicts. But I, I try to find a way in the middle to make it okay all together, but not too it's too ugly. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, like... yeah, you know what I mean. So, so you just mentioned a very important point of my design philosophy. I, I'm I'm not there to say I'm just add something on, instead of to say oh, the, the the smaller. The fewer, the better. Uh, do more with less. Uh, we could do more with more. Yeah, but yeah. depends. Depends. So, so you you could say also um, my other projects. You could say okay, that may be too much. Okay, why you just add this to 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 this space? It's not so not purified, but <laughs> but you know that that's that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah, very but, good questions. Thank well, you. It's still, you know, it's still they working very well. That that's that's the best part that we have this complexity, but it's still working very well and looks great yeah. at the end. Yeah, and and I would also highly recommend you just if got any chance in the future to see the building on site to feel it because yeah. it's three dimensional. No matter how how much. I, I explain on that or how excellent or marvelous the pictures might be. It's still two dimensional or even one dimension thing. It's not the, the real thing of a building of an architecture. The experience is because, what matter here. Absolutely. Yes, yes. The, the experiences, the volume, the dimension, which modern architecture pays, paid much attention to. Yeah, it works here. And also that's, that's uh, <clears throat> the detail, the diagram for that. The blue means cool air and red means red arrow means heated air, air going up. And also the yellow arrows means uh, the, the, the natural lighting. So you could say that, okay, the, the, the air and also the lighting system. So in the night, it's something like that.
not gradually going up to here. This space is a, is a atrium, and it's open. It, it, it's it's kind of semi enveloped, and uh, semi enveloped means uh, for sure uh, here it's open. Uh, it's half closed, mm -hmm. and also even the top we have the the lower. It's not uh, it's not entirely closed even the, the the roof so we have the heated air could easily to to penetrate and uh, does that have a glass glass top and then it will ventilate on the sides what what pardon uh for okay. the for the ventilation do you have yeah. like a detail for that? I'm just curious. Uh, so does it does it have like a glass top and then it will ventilate on the sides? Yes, yes, ex exactly. Yeah, it, it's uh -huh. it, exactly that. Yes, you you are right. And just yeah, yeah, that's the part. We could say the 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 light lighting, and also we have some small electric fan. To make it have the air turbulence thing, so so from the shadow you could say the sun of the roof window weighs fans, some not. So it's not totally just uh, blow down the air, but sometimes it just uh, suck up and some blow down, so it makes the uh, the tur turbulence. So that's uh, the the water uh, courtyard. Also, from the right bottom, the diagram shows uh, the cool air heated up. Mm, because in tropical region, in uh, the hot area, this kind of courtyard, uh, the narrow courtyard, is kind of a reservoir for heating or cooling. Because in summertime, the sunshine is blocked. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult to, to, to just uh, go directly to the bottom of the courtyard, which make it, makes the cool air in the night stay, stays longer. Yeah? Not heated up, so cool air here but, uh, stay. So that's a diagram for, for that. And you also mentioned that it is narrow, so we can prevent the sun yeah. to get inside directly. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, so it, so you we could say it's kind of yeah narrowed space, and actually the boundary is something like this. So from this diagram, we could say okay, that's the narrowed part. And that's the actual part of the weights of the the yard. Yeah. So that that's that, that's from one of the. Yep. Mm. That's uh, the rotunda. Yeah, we call it circular courtyard, whatever. But it it, it it's it's round. It's for 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 natural ventilation and also for some shading. So, oh, that's inside, and that's the that's the slope to have the air go in. Well, that's a part of that, and also that's the the the, the pré solaire. It's uh, the sound breaker that yes. have the sound shading system. Spontaneously, we have the natural ventilation. So air cuts through the direct sunshine blocked. It's almost everywhere because that building is kind of office building. We have the small space, the balcony like or trees. For for people to 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 have some leisure to to have some a cigar or smoke or to talk whatever, and also 
is kind of the buffer. The cooling alley the, is kind of we, what we learned from traditional in South China uh, strategy in vernacular architecture or indigenous architecture. They have this kind of narrowed uh, space between different family unit, units. So it's kind of narrowed space again for cooling air to stay longer. Oh, that's uh, landscaping. Landscaping. So we could say here, the, 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 again, we could say the, the, the water pond courtyard, rotunda, and also the north courtyard, the, the central atrium, the, the vertical alleys everywhere. And also we have the the lighting, natural lighting. What beneath the roof windows uh, is exhibition, one of the main functions of the building, earth sheltered, which is for sure air conditioned. So we have the envelope, the, the thick the soil and plantation that um, play play a very important role to keep the space more comfort. How long it took to design this building, Mr. Song? Oh yeah, good question. Three or four years. Three wow. or four years. And for 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 for, for building, for accomplishment. Mm, um this Altogether five years or something. We did I cannot part or just just the construction. All, all, all the things, all the all, things, all, all the things. Yeah. yeah, all the things. From the very beginning, we have the client to to contact us, and we discuss with them, approved of the design, and then go into construction drawings, and then help them for the bidding, and uh, and then finished. Uh, five to six years. I, I'm not so. <laughs> I'm not a good memory in that. But, but no but wonder this long. is such a well, like considered building. You've been like designing for three or four years for this. Yeah, yeah, yes. It, it, it's not for money, even in the Chinese context. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's for yeah, what we we talked about uh, this generation, the diversity. Yeah, yeah understanding that do more with more. Why not? <laughs> so yeah, you can exactly. see more and more things. You you find it. Yeah. That that's the yeah. best part. Like today's building is just all about money, but we have this such a projects that in considering every part from the sustainability to the addition to like people need all of that. Yeah, yes, that's that's the point. I'm quite certain, even today, maybe not all the people could find the the, the meanings behind. Yeah. But I, I, I'm quite also quite confident after years, yeah, this project, the meaning behind it will be digged out. <laughs> so you you are the first guys. <laughs> yeah. That's so great. I, yeah, yeah, I never talk with some 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 friends overseas so much in detail of that project. Now only some pictures, okay. Why? No. <laughs> uh. But but it shows it. It's really shows that how you just put this much effort in all the little details and like the whole building itself. Yeah, yeah, and and that's even one of the reasons why we made this podcast so architects can really explain more than just the images and the text in in the publications, so okay. people could could really understand what architecture is about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, you know, they, they should yeah. visit the building. Uh, yeah. the project but, yes we, yeah. we are all professionals especially in 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 the in architecture so it's easy to be cool you know i just uh, <laughs> i found something some god to, told me i would just do this <laughs> I, I i will not explain i i just uh, found it yeah it's my way but um i, I prefer uh, 
uh, to 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 show something yeah with the, the real and with the, the very carefully designed um, but but you know not so easy not so cool you know i just make it, it box <laughs> and the meaning of architecture and it, that's not my way <laughs> exactly yeah. every day we see like cool pictures on the internet but what's what's behind that like explain it they get trends so fast and they go away so fast again but what's the behind this like what's the thought what what was the process that's what's matter like yeah. these buildings are gonna stay like for years not just a week of like yeah. picture on the internet yes exactly and and, and and we we um, we i i do not say something not good to the the influencers the influencers or all this kind of internet phenomena things that's that's uh, also part of the spirit of time and still i i cherish yeah what the the professional architects yeah you know, spend years and years and after yeah you know, what what they are chasing for yeah Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's also the, the landscape and the architecture. Yeah, that's a part of the, the the route for pedestrian to go deep into the building, and part of the staircase, part of the landscaping. Oh, that's the the roof window, uh, and. Functionally, it's roof window, and and uh, it also works uh, as um, the, the landscaping. Yeah, part of the landscaping, like the the, the art piece of an artist. Yeah, it's just a part of the landscaping. The contrast, it's mirror like. It's kind of mirrored steel or or, or, or metal plate. So reflection, not only the scenery, but also the changing of cloud or whatever, you know, could make something. Yeah, that's for ventilation, actually. So we just make it part of landscaping. The, the inlet of air for the air conditioning. And you know, the funny thing is, in in China we have we could um, just like in Philippines or Thailand, the rice ripe for for three times a year. <laughs> During the course of the construction, the, the, the rice okay harvest several times. <laughs> it's quite really? annoying actually. On <laughs> really, the side. Yeah. On the side, they are just uh, the open, yeah, have, have this kind of harvest thing. <laughs> so the, the client complained a lot. <laughs> so have to think of this. Because we, we just make the, the plantation of the landscape of this building in some eatable, you know, edible, or, you know, the, the, the plants, yeah, like fruits, like uh, uh, the, the the herbs, yeah, yeah. So, rice is part of the herbs. So we just make it. That, that's so great, actually. But but it's really funny. Like during construction, your client asked that we should harvest. Yeah, rice. yeah. You have to uh, you have to ask our workers to to do that job. <laughs> you could say so the, the safe helmet. <laughs> Yeah. But, but Mr. Sang, since you mentioned your client, how was the relationship with client? Did you just finish the design and explain them this is gonna how it looks like at the end? Or you walk them through every step, like this is the size sustainability part, this is what's why we are picking this material. How did you uh, manage like this conversation with your client? Yeah, that you know, actually the client this in um, the director of the design part of the client is also a very professional city planning mm. designer. You know, he's quite professional. So he understood all the things and we just work together. That's it's great. a great opportunity. Yeah, that's great. So we talked, we work together, we have this kind of things we have this 
And for sure, we, 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 for sure, we, we just stand different the parties for, yeah. And here's for client, here's for the money thing, the budget thing, and also for the construction period of, of the, the timetable follows strictly to that. Uh, I'm concerning more about sustainable design and how could we keep the quality and all the calls. Uh, so we have some small conflicts. But I, I, I would say that client is one of the the the, the most educated professional client yeah, in my career so That's far. That's so great that they've been familiar with these ideas and approaches. So you you've been like one step ahead with this. Yeah, yeah, with yeah, yeah, important because that's that's not my money. Yeah, that's their money. So we, we architects just to 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 help them. Yeah. So, and what yeah. about the the relationship between this building and the people in the locality? Because usually when you approach a certain design with like a very contemporary or even a modern approach, people tend to um, not connect with it. But since your approach uh, delves with integrating materials, the soil, the color of the soil, and some courtyards, were they able to connect with the building in a positive manner? Oh, yes, yes. Mm, that region is uh, just like other regions in China uh, years ago. Mm, it's kind of totally planned. You know, it, 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 it's not like in, in the urban context with hundreds of years history. It's just a new planned, new plot, new region in China, even in Hainan. So it's, at that time, it's very difficult to have this kind of connection with locality. Yeah, local people, you know, it, it used to be the, the farmer land. Um, but we have a kind of connection. Yeah, that building is for the science park, for, for the local people, and the local government will for sure benefit from from this building, yeah, tax the behind. And also we have the workers, most of the construction workers locally, yeah, from nearby villages. Yeah. So that's uh, that's not like what we've done in rural areas. It's it's more like uh, to build something in the metropolitan. Yeah, it's all planned. And maybe the the new building has something to do with the surrounding, but not too much necessarily connected. So, th yeah, that's this building. We have, but that building is not showing the locality, not focusing on the the relationship with local people, just with local material, local even landscaping, local climate, yeah, this kind of thing, yeah. So that's the one of the roof garden, the summer kitchen over there. So could be doing barbecue or. What. Uh, that, that's uh, the east. This diagram to show the function of the building. This floor plan. Oh, uh, that's uh, yeah, last time. The computer simulation to have kind of suggestion to optimize some sun shading system or natural ventilation. And that's part of the data collected for ventilation and for this. Okay. Uh, I yeah, know this is all. really complex like approach to go to that path, but can you explain a bit how you can uh, work with these computer uh, analyzers through the design? Oh, yeah, that, that's very, very actually... Um, mm, it's a little bit kind of complicated. You know, we just uh, do the building simulation. 
usually you know, we depend on on other teams to help to support us. Yeah, the the, the team for 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 natural for ventilation. Yeah, the simulation of that, and uh, for the some more performance, and also for 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 uh, specialists uh, with help of specialists. Gradually, because we have a lot more experience in that, and we have a lot more projects follow the the process, the method, what I mentioned, sustainable design prototype to do the the, the data collection and analyze it for the post-occupation performance, this kind of process. We have uh, our um, PhD students focusing on that. You know, we have different background, but we are architects. Yeah, architecture is a major. And before before that, we depend on those specialists majored in HVAC or, or whatever, this kind of scientists or engineers. Gradually, we found the principle is clear, the software is smart, the understanding of what architects thinking is complicated. You know, sometimes scientists and engineers share different opinions or understanding of what in the mind of architects. We have to do a lot more uh, communication to persuade or to convince something very likely the 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 thing is not scientific at all. <laughs> but it's architectural, you know, it's it's architectural. And so and also on the other hand, some simulation conclusions are only the conclusions of simulation. Some, only some, are not cracked at all after the you know the 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 data collection and the, the analysis of post occupation thing which makes me to think it over why the scientists the top scientists engineers top engineers software top software what makes the difference between simulation and the real world so I, I found one, actually. It's the understanding of architecture. When they said something before calculation, maybe the assumption is not architectural. Uh, it, maybe it's, it's, it's complicated, difficult to understand, but uh, and, and those, the PhD students, with background or major of architecture, maybe the lack of scientific knowledge, only some, not all, but they are quite good in understanding of architecture. They will not so easily to set a parameter, yeah, with insulation only, but maybe they have to think, oh, Insulation, good, but sometimes we need ventilation. So what could or should we set the parameter with this kind of, okay, insulation and penetration together? So we, we have to think it over. That part, for sure, <laughs> scientists and engineers so far are not so good as that. Yeah, exactly. I think architects are really good in <laughs> mixing those things, right? The, like the technical side plus the creative side. So I think architecture has evolved through the ages, through the decades, compared to yeah. what we were doing like decades ago. So yeah, yeah. I think that's that's yeah. a wonderful thing at the same time. Yeah, and on the other hand, very important, the software, more and more clever, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Just like yeah, before that, maybe decades ago, only very professional photographers could take the nice pictures with the complicated the, the camera thing. 
today with iPhone, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not so much difficult. <laughs> yeah. yeah, architecture is encroaching on those areas as well. Yeah, it's yeah, diversified. Yes, 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 yes. So that, that that's actually lessons learned from the, the formal projects. Yeah. So uh, for this, and also simulation is simulation. It's not the real world. It's only a kind of possibility or with constraints, a lot more constraints, limits. Not this, not that, not that, only this. Okay, you got the right answer. Real world, not only this, not only that, not only that. You know, all could be happening. So, And, you know, we get like every day we get new like scientific paperwork about like this <laughs> analyzers and soft new software and all of that. But it's going to yeah. be really useful when you have this connection with architecture. It's still, when you can import all the parameters from architecture inside that software and you can get those analyzers with the knowledge of how it's going to work in real life, then that's like a, a study is useful. Yeah, yeah, yes, that's it. Because I know this <laughs> university is yeah. such a, like, a struggle. You get this like papers every day but they're not going <laughs> to use it in any way but we should find the path that this techn new technology new ideas find their way to the architecture to the useful areas for part two of our architectural talk with sub atelier we look at projects that integrates community into creating their architecture with emphasis on the context and resourcefulness of material through innovative use of bamboo so join us in the next episode as we delve into these projects and learn from their inclusive and innovative approach on architecture. Mm -hmm.